Escapism is when you distract yourself from an unpleasant reality. You engage in entertainment or fantasy to basically relieve yourself from an uncomfortable environment or like feeling. It's basically where you're just distracting yourself and I'm sure a lot of people have seen this before where people will hop online like uh, live in like fantasy worlds like play certain types of video games or maybe they'll be like in the comment section or, or pretend to be someone else like there's a lot of different scenarios as far as when it comes to online but also people you know may watch movies or something or different forms of entertainment to again like relieve themselves from an unpleasant reality they don't know how to handle what's going on around them and maybe they don't want to handle what's going on around them so that leads them to doing those things but another thing too I don't think people realize is it's not just entertainment and video games which is in and or engaging in like the the negative thing like well it is you know can be perceived as negative like where someone might drink to escape the realities or do drugs to escape the realities or engage in intercourse with multiple people to escape their reality and to escape whatever feelings coming up because it's not just necessarily okay what's happening in this situation it's the feeling that's coming about when they are in that uncomfortable situation that they are trying to escape and another way people escape it is by also doing things that can be perceived as productive you know and even and, and the reason that this can be kind of I'm not going to say like dangerous but it's like it's good to definitely analyze and be 100% aware of your reasoning for doing something to make sure that you are not suppressing any emotions and that you're not ignoring how you really feel about something so that you can deal with it so there's some people that might go to the gym and work out extremely hard whenever they feel a certain type of way so that they don't feel that way anymore and sometimes people won't allow themselves again to deal with those emotions so those emotions are still existing within there and so you haven't got to the root cause of it and so that problem still is there on the inside so whenever a similar situation happens that feeling is going to be something that always surfaces because you've never allowed yourself to actually deal with it you've went to the gym you know and put it as well I'm gonna work out you know and some people might not even be aware that they are doing that again because it's like the gym is something healthy something productive something that you do to better yourself something that you do to maybe get yourself out of the funk but sometimes people are literally distracting themselves from other things that they need to deal with mentally and emotionally and that doesn't mean to not go to the gym it's just being aware of all the real reasons you're actually doing it if it's to escape a certain uncomfortable feeling because then you know that you need to deal with that before you move on to the next thing or at least plan some time out and and I would say plan some time out to deal with those things but it's really better to do them when you feel them in the moment because then it's fresh and you'll be able to better analyze it or not analyze it but better allow yourself to feel it because you're actually feeling it in that moment versus trying to address it when you don't feel like that because then you're trying to like think about it and then you'll be analyzing the feelings and and trying to see what and where and all of this other stuff and it's like sometimes it's a matter of just allowing yourself to feel that through all the way the reason it's important to allow yourself to feel your feelings and to feel them all the way through is so that you can like relieve yourself of anything that it causes you to feel on the inside you know sometimes there's like this deep pressure you know on the inside of your body because you're not allowing yourself to feel your feelings and another thing is so that you feel heard you know like say if it's an inner child trauma type situation where because a lot of this stuff is where like some things happen when you were younger and carried on to your adult age and that's why in certain situations you have that feeling that you try to escape and it's like when you allow yourself to feel that in a sense it's like you're allowing your inner child to be heard and you're validating your inner child because some people might develop the habit of 
you know, ignoring their emotions and ignoring their feelings because maybe they were not validated about those feelings and emotions as children. So now they don't take them as seriously now. And they think that just, again, I just used the gym example. It's just something how you just deal with that. And that's why it's like a repeated cycle thing, you know, where you feel like anytime you feel like that, just go to the gym and then it goes away for a while. But really it's like, it's not actually solving the problem. And it's so important that you listen to yourself and your inner child, like, and allow yourself to feel them through. It's gonna definitely hurt and it's definitely gonna be hard. But at the end of the day, it's like, if you want better for yourself, this is like a process to do that. And you know who you are, you know, you are really aware of yourself. A lot of people are definitely aware of their habits and the different things that they do to escape and it's definitely like a balance sort of thing because there's some emotions where you might feel them and they're super heavy and how to deal with them would be to do something constructive instead of destructive like when people feel certain negative emotions they feel like you know smoking or drinking doing drugs or like again like having intercourse with a bunch of random people or like going and yelling at random people or, or whatever it is that people do sometimes you know instead of doing that they might somebody knows how to like you know pour into their their art you know maybe they make music and that's how they deal with their their negative emotions or somebody might paint or draw or somebody might learn a new cooking recipe like or do yoga or something like there's a, a bunch of different ways on like the the more positive or like healthy spectrum like on how to deal with the negative emotions but the balance sort of thing is just to make sure that you're not distracting yourself from feeling something because it's making you uncomfortable and so to stop feeling it completely you go to do something that's going to take you out of that and instead of dealing with it at all that's more so what i mean and so that's that's why i'm trying to explain it because it's like there is a difference between the two i feel more so whenever it's dealing with the negative emotion thing it, the difference being basically whenever someone is feeling the negative emotions and they start doing something more so like creative and expressive like writing songs or something like that they're still allowing that heavy feeling and those negative emotions to flow out of them and they are allowing themselves to express it and to feel it even though it's making them uncomfortable and even though it might be painful and it hurts you know but they are allowing themselves to do that because that is the process of how to get past and over certain things but the other aspect where okay you're feeling these emotions i'm gonna do this and completely cut it off so that you don't feel it at all and you're not thinking about it that's gonna leave it inside and it's not gonna have anywhere to go and you might keep it there and it's stored somewhere and then again when something else happens and you're triggered then it's gonna come to the surface and it's gonna be a cycle of you know repressing it it going away for a while then coming back up and it's going to continue to do that until you figure out a way to release that in a positive way or healthy way or whatever you know yeah that's what i was saying something that may also happen is you might notice that something just keeps happening like that makes it more difficult to do this thing say that you still may not be aware of that it's escapism but god the universe whatever religion that you believe in certain things will keep happening to kind of make it a little more difficult for you to engage in that i just saw a wasp make it a little more difficult for you to engage in that and you still might not be aware of it and might chalk it up to something else because i don't know you still haven't realized it yet but that's something else to pay attention to like if something that you would have been doing like without any complications now it seems like it's a little more difficult to do that and it seems like it happens kind of a lot it's like there's something that you're probably supposed to be noticing about the situation and it can be weird you know especially if you are not someone who is self-aware and has not made it out of that um like victim mentality because some some things like that can happen and somebody might think why does this keep happening to me like i'm so unlucky like they just don't want me to uh get big or something or they just don't want me to um whatever it is you know where you're trying to make the situation about them trying to keep you from doing something like they're hating on you and the whole time it's like they're really just trying to let you know that there's something that you should be noticing about this situation overall and it's overall to help you in the long run you know since you become so that you become the best version of yourself and the 
healthier version of yourself, you know, because these are things that you want to learn how to deal with. For example, say if you don't have any children yet, but that's something that you may be desiring in the future. These sort of things all are going to contribute towards that because just think like if you have that habit of escapism, who's to say that in the future while dealing with your children, you don't know how to deal with that. That's part of your emotions yet. And so if you can't deal with your own emotions like that, how are you going to be able to deal with another person's emotions? You know, your partner plus an infant, you know, or like a toddler, you know, because that's something that usually does happen. Like you might be able to you might think that you'll have the discipline or the love to be able to overcome that but a lot of times those subconscious habits end up coming up and revealing itself or those traumas reveal itself or those triggers you know happen and you end up repeating a certain type of cycle and that's usually how it happens i'm never gonna get on here and lie to any of y'all at all um some of this stuff is definitely going to be difficult and it's definitely going to hurt but it's more so a thing of like, like I always say, repetition and you keep doing it. And it will become easier in the sense that now you are aware of how to deal with certain things. But if you resonated with anything I spoke about, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing so that this video reaches someone who may also need to hear this message. Thank you and bye.